Ah, uh, yes, the Battlefield 4 campaign. It was glorious and very strange. Cheeseburger. If you haven't played it before, I'd highly recommend it, as it's unhinged. Like, f***ing skits unhinged. Two skits, skits are going to detail. This is going to be a crazy one, so sit back, relax, and grab yourself a packet of twisties, mate. Actually, I always say that to you guys, but why don't I grab myself some as well? Cheeky. Okay, the characters. This is the Tombstone Squad. Who the fuck is that guy? You've got Irish. Irish. A badass motherfucker. motherfucker. You've got Dunn. Dun. Yeah. Never mind. He's, He's dead. dead. You've got Pac Pac Man. Oh my god. You got Carl oh, Bismarck. Bismarck. Sorry, I'm not sure who that is. You've got Hat Girl. Hat Girl. And finally, you've got Racket. Sadly, this time around, no rat. The gameplay is your typical Battlefield campaign experience, really. Some shooty shooty, mixed with some set pieces of action, and I like it. Sometimes that's all you need. This campaign introduced the squad system where you can target enemies to engage. It's not very good. It's pretty much just a worse version of the Spec Ops The Line system, so yeah. As you progress, you gain access to various different weapons which you can use in the multiplayer. So that's it really. Yep. Chapter 1 baby. We kick off with the main character Wrecker who absolutely nails his only line of the entire game. Nice. He makes his way through the corridors and meets up with Paco Alcafer and Irish who decks a dog. He just punched that dog. Yes, chap. Yes, he did. Now fighting our way through some Chinese forces, we end up at a big ol' skyscraper, where the boys are unfortunately attacked by an attack helicopter. Definitely gotta be a level 140 who got bored of farming on Siege of Shanghai. Unfortunately, during their escape, Dunn has his leg amputated to escape some wreckage. <laughs> That's fine, Dunn is a tough lad. Driving away now, the heli comes back for round two. This forces Wrecker to go pro with the grenade launcher. This clip right here proves why I am the best female Warzone player. Well that didn't go well, did it? Chapter two. You and the squad safely make your way through the streets of Shanghai, making sure to avoid any pedet- oh. Oh dear. To avoid some riots, the van is Austin powered in this alley. How the f has he done that? We do some sneaky sneaky and end up in an elevator. Remember, no Russia. So much for the sneaky sneaky. Anyway, Backpack begins lockpicking the door and makes sure to take as long as possible. Thank you, Pack. While he does this, you and the rest of the squad take care of the enemies approaching. Don't forget to chuck down some cheeky claymores. Why is he running like that? Oh. <laughs> we move upwards towards the roof where there's a choppy. Unfortunately, the enemies don't want you to take the choppy. After dispatching of them, you take an elevator back down to the lobby. Don't forget to pick up the RFB at the bottom of the statue here for a good time. Now back in the alleyways, this happens. That's okay though, because there are some nice people to let us into the building, where some C4 is very conveniently waiting for you, strange. Blow up the tank, and head to the boat. Job done. Chapter 3, boat fight. It's time for a big boat fight, boys. But first, cutscene. Okay, nice. So here's the situation. Old mate here is like, boys. We need help for the, the ship. It's been attacked and we're like, oh yeah, right, eh? So we jump in the boat and make our way there. Tombstone's objective is to scour the ship for any survivors. To get into the main chamber, the squad swims through a submerged section of Titan. We come across some trapped soldiers and try to free them. Well, nothing we can do. 
Ah, uh, here we are, the fighting. I quite enjoy this part, the lighting is pretty cool and some of the micro destruction is decent. Good stuff. While not many of the soldiers were recovered, we do manage to grab a hard drive with some cheeky information on it. Before we can check it though, some soldiers attack. My After dealing with them, oh, the ship has been titanicked. What a shame. I guess we'll, uh, we'll read that later then. Eventually, the squad takes a boat back to the ship and the USS Valkyrie, to our surprise, has been taken over by Chinese forces. I know, shocking stuff. Anyway, we rescue the Captain Garrison. We're informed that the US is going to assault an airfield in an attempt to cripple Chinese air forces. Chapter four, woo! So yes, here we are, assaulting some stuff. Whilst crossing a bridge, some strong winds end up blowing a car into Wrecker, pinning him down. Not great. Oh, and there's a freighter about to crash into the bridge as well. Really not great. Wrecker is unable to free himself and the freighter smashes through the squad, killing everyone in the process at the end. I really wish that's what happened, but no, everyone survives and continues heading to the airfield. Once they're there, Paki Chan fires a signal flare and gets shot <laughs> and dies. Unfortunately, Hat Girl betrays you, helping the Chinese soldiers capture Wrecker and Irish. Chapter 5, Gulag. Good old Dimitri from Battlefield 3 wakes up Wrecker in his cell. Then using some knifey knifey, he helps you break out and find Irish. Where you all then decide to start a prison riot, which causes the Chinese military to arrive. Dimitri attempts to open the gates of the prison while Irish and Wrecker hold off the military. As you get overrun, Hat Girl returns and shoots the guards holding Wrecker and Irish hostage, as they were not wearing hats. This is just poor form from them. Anyway, moving on, the squad fights their way through the mountains. Tombstone reaches a cable car, which they use to make their way off the mountain. Or so they try, because a helicopter once again foils the plan. Do we, we really need to get better at avoiding these. Anyway, this leads to Dimitri's death. That's okay though, he had radiation poisoning. Chapter six, six. Damn. damn. The squad is forced to go all Bear grills and hunt for food to survive. Although they do eventually find a Jeep and link up with the rest of the US army. They inform Tombstone that the Russian military is using anti-air to troll them. Naturally, the squad volunteers to help out, but like, come on. You've just been hunting to survive, and there's no way that you're not malnourished right now. Come on. Anyway, we are off to demolish the dam. We demolished the dam. Pretty cool, to be fair. A C-130 picks up Tombstone and takes them back to the Valkyrie via parachute. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Valkyrie wants to end up like the Titan and is sailing directly into Chinese forces. We eventually find Garrison and the Packster. Pack Packin. Oh, I've got. I'm sorry, I've got nothing else for that. Packing peanuts. No, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so he's alive. Yay. Before everyone is killed by Chinese forces, old mate shows his face and is like, stop, I'm actually alive. Uh. And then the Chinese forces are like, nice. However, though, Admiral Chang is not happy with this and decides to continue attacking the Valkyrie. Irish, Wrecker, and Hatter make their way to the enemy ship's blind spot and plants charges on it. Once safe, you attempt to blow it, but the charges fail. Now, at this point, you can either choose Irish or Hannah to sacrifice themselves and manually blow the charge. Or you can just sit there silently staring at them like some sort of freak and let the Valkyrie be destroyed, along with Garrison, Pack, and Hannah's fake husband. So that's exactly what I did. What? Well, come on, Pack's gonna die anyway. He gets shot in a bloody Battlefield 2042 thing. And yeah, that's it. Overall, for what it is, it's not bad. I like it, and it's quite short, which is good too. 
especially considering that 2042 didn't even have a single player. This is very solid. Thanks everyone for watching, I know this video has taken a while, so I hope you enjoyed it. While you wait for the next one though, make sure to join my Discord and keep an eye out for any stream notifications. I will be continuing my quest to master all of the Battlefield 4 Assault Rifles. Alrighty, see ya.